are live from the uh, Championship Capital of Philippine Basketball, the Smart Araneta Coliseum. It is going to be Meralco against Talking Text as we continue the opening weekend for the PBA Commissioner's Cup. We have a rampaging Talking Text team, Karap, possibly rebuilding Meralco squad. This is PBA Sabado Nights, Kiko Alili with Jason Webb, and uh, well, as always, we'll uh, natin yung imports dito, Jason. Let's talk about Eric Dawson, yung import ng Meral. So, para dito sa import ng Meral, si uh, Eric Dawson, a lot of responsibility in his shoulder because at this onset, sabi mo nga, Miko, Meral might be rebuilding, and when you're rebuilding, you're gonna need one guy, especially pag may import, na magdadala doon sa katunan mo. Okay, we uh, spoke with uh, Eric Dawson earlier. Uh, here's what he said. Derek Dawson, 6'10". Uh, people told me I look like Kevin Durant. Um, actually, he's one of my idols in the NBA, so I guess it's a good comparison. 28, San Antonio Spurs, just hard work. Um, just doing whatever I need to do to help the team win and just to stay positive. You know, wherever I play, that, you know, my goal is to take them to the championship and, you know, play as a team and, you know, win as a team effort. Morocco fans, here I come. Do you really see the uh, Kevin Durant? Maare, awig, awig. Ne, maare. Pero siguro oh. matagal narin sa dito, may extra rice narin. <laughs> <laughs> Mas malapad. Uh, okay, so this is the resume uh, ni Eric uh, uh, Dawson. Uh, without Sol Mercado there, remember, you know, Sol was scoring like 20 points uh, per game in the Philippine Cup, and that's something that Eric Dawson, eh, kailangan niyang uh, yan, uh, punan niyan, no? y uh, the uh, output. Now, let's go to the important talking text. This is Keith Benson. Uh, he's going to be the signal tower of the uh, Tropang uh, texters. Uh, they said the uh, you know, highlights niya from college uh, very impressive. But, of iba yung ginagawa nila sa America, iba yung kailangan gawin nila dito sa PBA. And especially for him, coming into a system that is a that has a winning tradition. May iniisip natin at sinasabi nga natin, you don't want na guguluhin mo pa yung sistema ng Talking Text. What Talking Text is hoping from Keith Benson is that he will able will be able to make the team better without ruffling the feathers. Parang, uh, you know, na hindi siya magiging ball dominant. So maybe, you know, one guy that will probably anchor more the defensive side. At yung pagkailangan na kailangan lang ng interior presence. I think what you're pointing to is uh, kailangan bumagi siya dun sa kultura ng, ng Talking Text. Uh, last thing you want to do if you're an import is sirain yung whatever chemistry, that winning chemistry that Talking Text has. Ano maganda, Miko, para sa Talking Text? Every time an import comes in, ina-adapt ng mga players mismo yung import. They, be they become a good player. They, be they become almost family. So, kung sa Talking Text, it's all about not changing anything. Meral ko naman, I, you know, I believe it's all about change. Kasi ito sa Commissioner's Cup. For Meral ko, it's about finding who you are once again. You take out a player that was responsible for about 30, 40 percent of your total output. Kasi with points. Sa yung top scorer, yeah. scorer mo, plus assist. Sa pa yung top yeah. assist man mo. So, you know, they're going to coach Ryan Gregorio. He's going to be looking to find the new formula para sa kanyang Meralco. I think Mark Cardona will be, uh, well, should expect a lot of things from uh, Mac Mac uh, now that Sol Mercado is gone. Uh, Keith Benson is fouled and he makes his first basket. He's an import dito sa PBA. And when, when, when you look at the Benson, ito pong ganong kahaba. You know, sometimes, you know, you're tall, but iba yung length mo. It reminds me of a guy like, uh, when we mentioned this during, uh, when we were in uh, we were inside one of the uh, imports, si Diamond Simpson. Pag nakita mo, yung height niya, yun, siguro makaalis ka tayo kasi tangka doon, but pero mahaba. And then that's the same thing with, uh, with Benson right here para sa talking to as they put back para kay Eric Dawson. I think Mac Mac sure likes Eric Dawson. He, I think he likes to rebound. And Mac Mac likes just to rebound shoot. my shots. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it will be Prince. Here's Jared Dillinger. Dillinger will miss. That will be last touch on Mark Borboran. And away talking text in their blue uniforms. And Meralco is in immaculate white. 
Larry for the share on the right side. Larry, one of uh, seven Tokitex players selected to the uh, Gilas training pool. Jared Dillinger, also one of them. There are four of them actually on the floor. Right? <laughs> Jimmy Din, uh -huh. Chirani Dil Din, uh -huh. Kelly Din. Uh -huh. Benson Hill Din. Benson Hill Din. I might as well ask you, since we're just in the early stages of the game, uh, yung uh, pagkakaroon ng kitong uh, talking text players in the national team pool, uh, how do you, what do you make of that? Uh, you can't really make uh, anything out of it. Uh, uh, they've been the most dominant team in the PBA. Most the dominant past. all Filipino team. Oh, regardless, not even all, yeah. all, all, all competition. So you would expect a majority of the players coming from that team. So it just makes sense. Of course, yes. Yeah. You know, there might be some uh, debate kung gaano karami dapat but you know you'll never please anyone anyway anyway yeah. sabi mo apat kinuha mo o anim o sampu o isa yeah oh, there, that, that number will, will not change but the fact remains that the majority of those players must be must come from Tokyo Tech because of how they played and how they gel together Blocked by Benson. I think we're getting to see ano magiging papel ni Benson dito. Jared goes in. Uh, Miss Lep, rebound, Cliff Hodge. Jared, hustle play. Bola, na, bola pa rin ng uh, top. And here's Rani Bella. The ball stolen away. Here's Cardona. Dawson. And the previous fast breaks for Meralgo. And they missed the layup. And here's Rani so Keith Benson with a slam. Uh, and, and looking at both imports right now, and early on, you can see there's a lot of quality in, in both of them. Defensively, they're a present, and even offensively, so matakbo sila at sinasabayan nila yung mga manilis. So many having gone by, you can see the quarter. It's Cardona against Kocher all over again. And whipped out a new move. <laughs> Another thing that we're going to have to check you know, the Milano, Remember that they changed their offense last conference and it's Taylor fit Sol Mercado Ngayon na wala si Sol It will be a question mark Kung ano itatakbo nila it's Ross. Dawson. Love to shoot. Para sa Meralgo. Dawson will be shoot. Here's Jared. Benson. Import against import. Benson. Soft touch. Rebound. Cardon. It's almost scary to think who's going to be able to play with the two imports. It's like they need to play with this one to play with the two. Floater the uh, Chris Ross uh, would not drop. It's a one-point game for the Dawkins X. Still over eight minutes remaining in the opening court. Jimmy on the move. Jimmy kicked out. Uh, here's Larry. Larry sends it for uh, Jared. Pero pinapik palabas ni Mark Borbora. Very awkward start for both teams. Huh? And awkward in, in a sense because they're actually playing good defense because both are, are good defensive teams. Tapos nilagyan mo ng shot blocker ngayon. I the offset. I, I think Benson might be. Looks like the, the more uh, shot block minded player uh, compared to Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric Ross. I'm sorry, I don't see the. Hindi ko talaga naging dito yung hawig. But they're both number 35. And he's wearing. Um, Ayun naman pala. He's, we he's wearing Durant shoes. So. Oh. Ano pa gusto mo? Ewa ko eh. Sabi niya. Ano pa gusto mo? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I just don't see it. I don't see yung hawig. Ayun, 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 no? ayun, no? ayun. No? <laughs> I don't see it. 35 guy number, hindi pa napapadzit para kay Pinturas. 8.08 remaining in the opening quarter. Talk it next. Come on. I think I play an exciting style of play. I like to block shots. I have a touch on my jump shot. So I like to play inside out and get up and down the floor. I think I fit well because I, I play well around from moving from block to block and, and playing off of our guards penetration and we have some good guards so I think I can fit, fit in well with them. I can catch drop ball passes and shoot the open shots when I get them and we play an unselfish style of play so to TNT Nation I'm here to help you guys and bring another championship back to TNT.
Well, for more on Chief Benzo, let's uh, turn you over to Jessica Mendoza. Well, Nico, I found na strong and silent type itong si Keith Benz. Ano, nakausap po siya kanina, medyo nahihiya pa. And actually, all he had to say was that uh, he was really excited and looking forward to his first game here in the Philippines. Uh, his teammates have reached out to him. Uh, Nag-dinner date daw sila ni Jimmy Alapag. Uh, Jimmy was able to give him a, a bit of a primer of what to expect from the team, from the way the game is played. And so far, confident on top and deck that Benson will give them what they need once again to handle the Well, kailangan talaga dinner date si Benson at Jimmy para nakaupo. <laughs> Medyo mahirap yung kuna sa bar. Nasaka tayo sila ng dalawa. But, you know, he sure looks like he's adjusted quite well already. He's scoring all of the nine points of Talk and Text. <laughs> also, uh, if you're a Talk and Text fan, uh, I'm sure you're hoping na mas exciting sa paglaro kaysa mga salita. Pero kama ka rin, may kama ka rin siya. Alam niya, Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with all apologies sa import ng Meralco, hindi <laughs> talaga tayo makita yung hawig eh. Pero konting po. Dean Dami is back, Cardona. Shot clock winding down. Inside they go. Hodge. Trying to score against Benson. And there's Eric Dawson. Eric Dawson. And, and you can see that Dawson, he's a winner. You know, he, he, he comes in and does things that are important in the game. Getting offensive rebounds, trying to block shots. And, and he's got that, uh, seems like he has that really attitude about him. He certainly has the energy. Huh? Yeah. There's Ross. Hodge. Cardona, Ooh, blocked by Benson. Dalawa na. Lapag locating for the shed. Here's Benson. Outside, Ronnie Dill. Malco down by two as we near the halfway mark of the opening quarter. So, what so far? You have, you have Justin Williams from, for Global Board, Keith Benson for Talking Next. Uh, sa, 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 sa mga nakita natin imports are uh, the better shot blockers of the, of the batch. Yeah, uh, and uh, from, I, I saw the game yesterday, saw the, saw the first game earlier as well. These, these two, these two look like they're, they're the upper echelon so far. Huh? I mean, we've only seen them for over six minutes, but they, they look like uh, they're multi-faceted. Hard foul given up by Ramidel Dio Campo to progress of Chris Ross first person against Ramidel. Changing personnel para sa talking text. Ramidel and Jimmy Alapag will sit down. Castro and Carrier in. Ross and Volts are all tied up with talking text. And the piece... here on active and uh, hindi ko nakausap si Eric Dawson before the game because he wanted to focus now. Pero by all accounts, he's meshing well with the Meralco team. Nakasama nga raw nila siya sa bonding session nila sa foot spa this past week and uh, ayon kay Mac Cardona, he had only high praises to, to give uh, uh, Eric Dawson. Sabi pa nga niya, he plays like Denzel Bowles and he feels like he will be able to give them what they need as well this conference, guys. Alam mo, nauuso yung mga foot spa, foot spa na yan ha, sa mga basketball player. And, uh, Not just here in the Philippines, oh, huh? but even in the NBA. Futspa, huh? Futspa. Futspa. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, lah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure, lah. Oh, you bad pedicure. The Hodge fires. Siguro mas mahal siguro yung charge kay Bo. Laking pa niya niya. Tsaka pa siya pa doon sa ano, doon sa parang pinugasan. Ano yung palanggana yung timba? Eh, yung balde. Balde pa yun. Palanggana, palanggana. Palanggana, yung maliit. Yung dapat doon, pampanlaba yung ano. Yung bakal. Yung mo, tansa na ano. Kay Gant. Kay Gant. But, ah, I guess it makes sense. Yung uh, the the uh, uh, healing ng uh, basketball players sa uh, sa foods pa because simply yung uh, 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 yung paano ano eh gamit na gamit. I, I, I played okay and I've seen the feet of all my teammates. And, uh, I pity the people that actually work on the feet <laughs> of these players. Ang wala lang pa ang wala lang kung magbigay ng pangalan. Baka masira yung mga idolo idolo na as Bacardona goes in. <laughs> I mean, for instance, Michael Jordan has horrendous feet. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> I mean, it's terrible. But, you know, it's nice that uh, players are getting metrosexual, you know. 
first break, he has been blocking uh, his April. <laughs> <laughs> As Cardona misses, uh, rebound, Harvey Carey. They had a three-point game because of the opening quarter. Ryan Reyes is now part of uh, the story tonight. Here's Castro. Benson. Benson has been very productive uh, for talking text. He goes in and scores. Benson. So productive. He keeps Benson. Lahat ng points at talking text sa kanya. And we were saying that he shouldn't rock the boat. <laughs> he just became the boat. Oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we saw Sundog earlier, he, he was pretty good as well. You, you, you ka kay oh, you know, yeah. He's effective. But these two guys, they 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 play both sides of the ball. Yung import ng Alaska, magaling din ha? Yung Calvin Abueva? As uh, Ryan Riz, this is by the way, uh, yung, uh, uh, that thriller uh, between... Uh, thriller ba? Bigit ba yun? Bigit na bigit. The Alaska Raiders side and Calvin Nuevo will figure prominently uh, in the end game. Uh, you can catch that after this game on a, uh, on a delayed basis. It must watch. Uh, that, oh, that absolutely. Game, that absolutely. Must watch. absolutely. Okay, three and a half to go in the uh, opening quarter. And Ball was tapped out of the stable talk Good CD. Very first appearance of Jay Buena for today. And first game of Rapa Oluseni for his new team, Talking Text. What's wrong with the matchups? Because this boss is actually concerning Rapa on a switch. I find Rapa's jersey number interesting. It's number 24. I haven't asked them about it, but my guess is that's uh, to honor his uh, favorite coach. Here's the Dawson. Anyway, I'm willing to uh, I, uh, I'm willing to guess that uh, that's the reason why number 24 in Jersey New Rapa. Uh, Mapapanood na din ang PBA sa pinakabagong channel sa PTV, Hyper. Please check with your local cable operators for availability. Papaalam na rin. Well, you better make your coach pr proud. If you better, well, you know what? We'll ask. We'll, we'll yeah, make yeah. Jessica ask. But, but, you know, right, it, right during the next time out. Yeah, yeah. If you borrow your coach's number, you better. Yeah, you better be worthy. <laughs> yeah. Another three minutes to go in the opening quarter. It's a six-point game for the Meralco Bolts. And Harvey Carey is in trouble inside, and that's a turnover. His foot was still outside when he was trying to save that basketball. Let's go back to Jessica. Uh, Miko, I, I'm not sure yet about the number, but I'm willing to bet you're correct about that. I'll try to find out for you later. Now, Coach Norman Black said that uh, Raba does have a ways to go to learn their system. But as I said, Raba, it's been a pleasant experience going back to the suits. So they're out of Adam. They're the big man drills. They're all said to Coach Norman that he's already missed the college. But ayon sa mga teammates, he said that Jimmy, wala naman no problem so far with Raba. And on time, naman siya dumadating sa practice at willing to work. And that matters to them. Well, right now, Raba is the least of uh, Talking Texas concerns. Meralco right now up by eight big points, 2012. As uh, we take this, I, guess, I believe this is the 32nd time out, the 227 uh, remaining, and the Bolts taking advantage. Uh, then team put them to at Talking Texas so far. Papapara the PBAs, Action TV International, the Middle East via Orbit Showtime Networks, uh, Europe via OSN TV tomorrow, at sa Guam via MCV Broadband. Sabi nyo yung mga kamaganap na abangan ang maakso na labanan ng PBA at UFL sa Action TV International. Right back to the Raba, Raba issue. It, this is a perfect opportunity for him. Uh, turn things around it, with his career and you, know, you go into a team where in the coach has high trust in you. Na alam mo kung ano kaya mong gawin. And you go into a team that actually um, meron na silang 
tradition where nothing has to do ways about how they go through and if you come in and don't join dun sa agos ng tubig eh, I, I don't think the, the rest of these guys are gonna allow it yeah, saga balga now Keith Benson uh, 12 points 2 blocks and 5 out of 7 from the field that's not the problem of talking next their problem is the rest of the team 0 out of 10 from the field and so yung kaninang free throws ni Jason the first points uh, for any local for talking text Ray Guevara first game for uh, the Bolts his new team here's Guevara shot clock down to 1 Guevara for 3 rebound Ryan Reyes Carry fires no go. Much better face now without the imports in there because you can see there's confidence in the players that they can actually go to the post now. <laughs> Tagal na rin sa team si Raynel, no? pero his post up moves are just as open. The thing is, you don't know which side he's going. He can go left, he can go right, and he can shoot with either hand as well. And there's a pattern with a rebound. And Alco threatening to build a 10 point lead. It's Ron J. Buenafe against Ryan Reyes. Buenafe still has the ball. Buenafe on the move, and he is fouled. Starts off with Chris Ross. Push the ball early. Get the defense on their back heel. You do that, you have a slight advantage against a defensive squad. Now, Ronje was one player who benefited from playing with Sol Mercado. This is Ronje Abangane. When Sol drives, and then when he kicks out, si Madala si Ronje yung nakabang for the possible three point shot. So you wonder, paano magbabago yung uh, laro ni Ronje uh, with the new composition of the Bolts? But it still might be the same thing, na aabang siya, but now it's going to be a little different. Instead of it starting from Sol, because their import, it looks like he can score at the post, can do a lot of things. Baka naman dun magagaling mula sa loob palabas. Ryan Reyes, hounded by Ronje. Maybe he was hounded too much. Foul against uh, Ron J. Buenafe. His first personal. That will be the fourth team foul against Meralco. Time winding down in the opening quarter. Walking Dex down by 10 points. Raba wants the ball. It goes to Jason Castro instead. Shot locked out to three. Castro fires and misses. Whatever happens in the remaining 24 seconds, Meralco will be happy with their performance in the opening quarter. And Harvey Carey, he now can see Reyna Lugnatan. It's going to be weird if he uh, if, 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 if talk next because that would mean walang naka field goal sa mga local players sila for an entire quarter. And, and that's very strange because you're talking about a team that is system based and maraming pwedeng maka shoot sa kanila. Ron J fakes outside JRS shot knocked out to four. Ron J Buena Fe for three. What an opening quarter for the Meralco Bulls. They're up by 13 points. And Jason Castro will miss. And that ends the opening quarter. And it's all Meralco. And it continues to be a season of surprises. First two games of the season. Number 10, number 19 of last conference. Nakakuha ng panalo. Right now, in our game today, Meralco Bulls almost doubling the total of Talk Attack. Well, the compelling reason to watch uh, the first game of Meralco really is to, to figure out ano na magiging tsura nila. Game of Sol Mercado, Kelly Nabo, Yusuf Aljamar, JP Pelechan. Of Sol Mercado, the biggest piece uh, in, in, in this trade. They got Dre Guevara, Vic Manuel, uh, Josh and Josh Van Lanning, plus a first round pick in 2015. Uh, is it really accurate to say na 
as Ryan Gregorio chats with his import Eric Dawson and Coach Ryan was quoted as saying that it was not easy to, be, to uh, trade Saul but we have taken the biggest step in rebuilding our team and investing on young players and a future first round pick. I'd like you to analyze that quote me Coach Ryan Gregorio. Eventually, you've got to make a decision. Uh, and the decision is you look at what, what sometimes what you have to look at is your opponent right now. And you're probably looking at the top of Texas is probably a team that is going to be good in about uh, peaking in about another one, two more years. So he's backing on loading up talent after some teams have started to regress already. But I, I think one of the things that happened when they traded the way Sol at Melita, so 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 this was actually before the trade, na pumasok si Japo. So yung 2015 pick na yon may not be as pretty as it originally was planned to be. Because you would be thinking it's from 3 to the Global Port by 2014, right before the draft. Willie Miller will not be as good. Gary David will probably not be as good. That should be a prime pick. But all the all the, all the best made out plans, you know, maari magbago yan because of destiny. Miss Timberlake, uh, now quarterbacking for the Bulls, coming off an excellent opening quarter. Guevara up against Aaron Aban. Shot clock down to eight. Guevara makes his move. Guevara all the way. No go. Rebound Aluseni. So we're still waiting for uh, a local talking text player to score a field goal and Jason Castro does just that. Balikan natin si Jessica. I am Coach Ryan Gregorio Miko. Uh, the loss of Sol Mercado means that he feels like he has a completely different Meralco team in his hands. Sabi niya, he, ex he expects his offense to be uh, more distributed uh, this conference and uh, he's hoping uh, that the players will understand the concept of uh, long-term goals pagdating uh, sa kanilang uh, uh, sort of championship uh, goals. At sabi rin niya that uh, it's better because uh, his, his uh, idea of what last team was was that they were sort of standing still and now he's just hoping that change means that they're gonna move forward, guys. I suppose when uh, when uh, Ryan said the uh, you know static steel mentality before was that because he was the si Sol, who would have the ball off it. Yes. I mean, but even if it's also kind of tough on Sol because you know, they're but also, but also let the team in assist. Uh, he was a top scorer of the team. He was also the top assist man of the league. That's right. <laughs> okay, we have a timeout. Meralco is still in command here. 27-18. Back in the moment. We continue our PBA Sabado Nights uh, live from Big Dome. We're going to catch the Barclays Premier League at Babanderang uh, Manchester City. Abansa, Chelsea. February 25, 5 p.m. It's active. Back lock down to 10 for the Bolts. Pretty sure I will come here also to uh, relinquish this lead. Pick them well. Playing his first game for the Bolts. And he misses and Hukata. Rebounding is just gone the way exclusively the way of Meralco at the moment. Uh, Offensive foul on Raba Luceni. You, you said that it will take time for Raba to fully uh, gel with the talking text. Yes, and it should. It should. It, it, it can't be that easy. You know, aside from the fact that he's with a new system, he has not played well. The, the, the truth of the matter is he has not played well in a long time. Yeah. I think the last time he played well, was Air 21 pa siya. <laughs> I mean, no, that's, 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 yeah. So, yung, yung personal adjustment mo sa bago sa kumpanan, but also, your adjustment to getting that confidence back in, in yourself that kaya ko itong gawin, kaya ko itong gawin, I can beat this guy. I agree, confidence is not Indian overnight magic na but it certainly helps that he has so, so many yes. familiar faces around familiarity like San, coach Sandy Ares Pocotaga was his coach uh, was his assistant coach uh, in, uh, in Ateneo for so many years so 
daming familiar voices and familiar faces and I think it's a very ideal environment para kay Rapa but I, I agree with you hindi to para overnight lang eh uh, may solution na lahat and, but uh, as we see this three points shot uh, by Ron J he's playing well he's got eight points but also a huge opportunity for him because Ali Peek is in the injured reserve so yung mga minuto ain't an question na ma, uh, more than likely sa kanya pupunta and Kelly's not here Isa pa So talaga magkakano siya Magkakaminuto siya In the meantime The Morocco Bulls uh, I'm sure surprising uh, The fans And an acrobatic move by Timberlake there It's Castro He steps on the gas He goes all the way Doesn't matter Vic Manuel is blocking his path It does not matter Two free throws oh, para kay Castro. Oh, and you almost feel bad for Vic Manuel because you're actually just hoping that you guess right. And when you guess right, tatawag ka lang ng Paul kasi huli ka na rin eh. Okay, Jason Castro. Uh, Jason Castro. Jason Castro's name is on that pool at Pila's pool. And I know a lot of people are sobra excited na makita how Jason Castro will fare against yung mga mas malalaking guardia sa FIBA Asia. And that's gonna be a big question mark. We haven't seen what he can do in the international game. Yung makita siya na makakalaban lahat malalaki. And also, what role will that play within the offense that they're, that they're gonna run? Seven and forty remaining in the second period. Gerardo up by 10. Chris Ross, Laban K. Castro. Eric Fawson goes by two defenders and he almost makes the layup. It's amazing how, how Eric Dawson's uh, pronouncement earlier. Uh, because siya nagsabi ha, sa kanya nang galing, ha, nakamukha daw niya. Si, or marami nagsasabi na kamukha niya, si Kevin Durant. And I've gotten so many <laughs> replies. What, what, what has been the best one? Ito, kita mo naman, oh. <laughs> para si Durant lang, eh. Oh. Oh. Hanggang, oh. hanggang umabot sa mukha. <laughs> I've gotten so many replies saying, What was the best one? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I only share. I, 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 <laughs> Deep Benson, hand off, Larry, Larry, no, rebound, Manuel, uh, still a 12-point game for the Meralco Bolts, easy, almost a steal para kay Jimmy Alapag, oh, Dawson is all alone, losing draft because the group of teammates of Jimmy thought that he actually had the ball, karamihan sa kanya, bumababa na, Nice tap by Dawson. Ball will stay with Talking Dex. Pull it pass for Randy Dell. Stolen by Hodge. Ross. All the way. No. Missed the layup. Here's Jimmy. Jimmy waits. Goes to Randy Dell against Hodge. Taksaksi Randy Dell. He was sandwiched by two defenders and lost his balance. Foul. It's against Cliff Hodge. Cliff Hodge changes the number. He's not number seven. He used to be number one. And the reason being? I have no idea. Tapos siko lang. Pag bibigay po niya ganyan siya sa coach niya. Bakit? Number ba ni Ryan niya? Maari. Kanya-kanya naman. Yara ba ano kayo? Kanya-kanya ng paraan. I remember though, shot clock winding down with a talking text and Jerry Miss. May player yung hinebro nun. Ang number niya 77. And, and talagang, uh, as Cardona gets a teardrop, talagang ano yun, number niya 77 to honor the living legend. I, and who was this? Who was this? I, I forget. Uh, apparently, he didn't honor him enough because we can't even remember his name. <laughs> I think his name is Ray Perez, I think. And then I'll confirm with Roy here. Is Roy? I don't think that. I don't know who he is. He's a good player. 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 He
Men has the fucking text tonight. Is it the case of addition by a subtraction? What, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, you take out one player that may, maybe you know, although maganda yung stats, but he's ball dominant. But then you feel that some of your players um, uh, uh, can work better as a unit. Then you know, so far, so good. But don't forget, you know, ang laki ng epekto ni Benson dun sa laro nila. Because he's the, he does it on both ends. I mean Dawson. Sorry, sorry, yeah, Dawson. Dawson. Ayan na, naglapas na ng annual. Walang number yan. <laughs> Pangalan na meron yan. <laughs> 5 and 37 remaining in the second period. Pag nakikita ko yung annual na yun, gusto ko sunog yun eh. Bakit? Nakikita yung career averages ko eh. Buti nga may numero eh. Hindi tuldok lang eh. Mabuti nga ka mo, walang minimum requirement sa stats para makasama sa annual. Buti tagilip pa kayo ni Richard. Siya lang. Chris Cardona. Hand off for Dawson. Good idea. Not not as good the, as uh, yung sa execution, sa turnover. Still, Maralco bolts 42-26 advantage here in the first half. Castro. Is Ranidel. Oh, swipe! Manuel! Click Manuel's on the move. Oh! oh. No, look pass. Lots no of success. <laughs> yes, lots of mustard, but forgot the hot dog. <laughs> Pero, ah, big but well behind the back. Iba na, ang meral ko. Fighting spirit, yeah. Back in a moment. Well, Mac Macardona, um, some people believe that uh, this is Mac Mac's time to take over because he's no longer sharing. You know, he's not he's not sharing scoring load with with Sol. Does not does not need to defer. Uh, not that big conflicts in Sol because, uh, yes. as far as I know, they're fine. I mean, they they're okay. But what do you say? Nano. Uh, wala silang conflict at wala. Hey, wala ko lang. Ah, tingin ko lang. Tingin ko. Tansya ko lang there's no conflict between the... <laughs> but you know, this, this is not something new. Remember before tumating si Sol, eh, this was Mac Mac's team naman. Oh, it's Mac to Mac Mac's team. At least that's, that's what we what we believe. And Jessica, what they have for us? Well, actually, Mac Cardona was the first to say na naramdaman niya ang loss ni Sol Mercado. And in fact, hindi nga raw niya alam na matitrade na si Sol. Nakita lang daw niya sa Twitter na ini-interview na pala si Sol dahil na-trade na nga. At uh, sabi niya, at this point, he's just gonna do his best for what he's needed from him. At uh, if it turns out, naswerte pa lang humahaba niyang buhok, well, bonus na lang nito. Ah, so nagpapahaba talaga siya ng Sorry. buhok. Hindi, humahaba ang hair niya. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, alam mo sino humahaba ang hair? Talk it text. Yes, right? Now, yeah. because this is not how this is it's, it's we're not used to this. It's it's fairly difficult for them to get up for a game after winning the championship. That first game is always tough. And when you're playing a team that's hungry, it makes it doubly tough. Hungry and excited. Oh, Dawson gets away! And another layup for the Miracle Bolts. Layup drill. Ang dami natin nakikita layup. Para dito sa Miracle. And another turnover para sa Token Text. I, I, I guarantee. Uh, as soon as I have time to tweet the score right now, uh, for the people who are on the road or are, who are out, who are uh, who are away from their 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 homes, they'll be shocked. Yeah, they might even think, "Oh, ano typo ba yan? Typo? No, no, this this is happening." Who's Cardona? Cardona. Nowhere to go, and here's Manuel. Shock lock down to ten. And Cardona loses it. Lost his balance as well. And a foul here. Duty foul. And Chris Ross. Second personal against Ross. At uh, penalty ang Meralco. Very strange to see. Talking text struggling more on the offensive end. Eight points so far. You know, you, you end up maybe with 3:37 to go. Shade under 40. And this is a team that you know, alam na pagdating sa offense. Alam sa kakaamoy na nga sila kung saan pupunta yung isa. But also remember for Coach Norman Black, couple of guys un unavailable. Kelly Williams, Ali Peak. You know, Kelly's a guy that will bring that energy, give you those 
three points na tatakbo rin na tasabay sa fast break and Ali Peak gives you that new uh, new dimension pag gusto nilang pumoste both guys are available so far still a 16 point advantage for the Miralco Bogs Dawson hand off to Ross just uncharacteristic to you know, see an opposing team score so many layups against uh, the Talking Dicks defense Cardona against Castro and a swipe by Jason Castro here's Jimmy Jimmy on the move Jimmy will step on the brakes and Benson will lose it last touch on Cardona turnovers yung turnover na yan pa paraan para, talking, para sa Talking Dicks makabalik dito sa ating first half Here's Castro. Wouldn't be too many shots now, huh? You know, he comes in there and he actually sets himself up square na square ngayon dun sa mga tira. No, no, no second guessing. Unlike before, probably would second guess uh, when he has those outside shots. Yung mga Castro jump shot natin at the two ends. You don't know what you don't know what you'll get. Man. That's no longer the case. Time out for Meralco here with another three minutes to go in the first half. Ryan Gregorio's team, Lamang, 46, 32. They've been running. Uh, they've been making it hard for Talking Text to score, especially yung, uh, especially the locals. And if uh, you were all wondering, ano magiging itsura ng Meralco post-Sol Mercado, you know? They're, they're showing us something nice so far. Yes, and... Uh, Although you can say it happened pretty late in trade for them to adjust, uh, uh, Coach Ryan, uh, you know, he, he has complete trust, I believe. You know, with guys like Chris Ross and, and, and the, the leadership, the, the, you can see that you import the Lamero leadership qualities too. Is the jumper that time, Eric Dawson? As we approach the last two minutes of the second period, Jimmy makes his move. That will be a foul, I think, against Chris Ross. Third personal against Ross. And Kanina na pumasok na sa penalty ang Meral Kubots. So two free throws for Jimmy. Wow, check out those free throws para sa talking text. Perfect. 14 out of 14. Imagine if they actually shot like a normal average. Eh, mas malaki pa dapat itong labang ng, uh, uh, ng Meralco. So, labang pa rin ng Meralco. 46-34. Ross, Hodge, Dawson, Manuel, and Cardona on the floor for the Bolts. Very quiet game para kay uh, Cliff Hodge. It's that time, bothered by the towering presence of Keith Vincent. Castro. Interception by Ross. Manuel is running. It goes to Hodge. And Hodge attacks. But is unsuccessful. Here's Jimmy. Jimmy to Castro. And Castro needs help. Finds Dillinger. Inside, Benson blocked by Dawson. High quality defensive boards. You can see Benson just not, didn't give up. You can see Benson just didn't give up. Medyo, 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 medyo. Benson blocked. Dawson is all over the place. And here's Cardona. <laughs> Mac knew that Benson would go for the block. So, inalay na ni Mac yung katawan niya in, uh, in that move. So, second personal against Keith Benson. You know, para sa Meralco, they have a 12-point lead right now, but it was it was as big as 18. Slowly, Talking Tex has eaten back into this lead. These free throws of Mac Mac and the succeeding possessions, huge for them to be able to come into that locker room and actually feel good that because if you come into the, the locker room with about 12-point lead after having it at 18, you don't feel as good. Two for two for Mac Mac Cardona, and he has 14 points to match his jersey number. Oh, 
Meantime, here's Castro. Rocket Vex down by 14 points. Get away, Mo, for Jason Castro. Let's say reach and foul against Ryan Reyes. Second personal against Ryan. And Jimmy Alapag will step out. Pamuy Raimundo will take his place on the floor. Still a 12 point lead for the Bolts. Boston. Boston. Ryan Reyes is all alone. That's what we're talking about. Talking text, they've come back strong. They've already touched 38 so far. They're cutting that lead to 10 points. It's just, they're just like that. They're back in this game. Luz Guevara. Under a minute remaining. He does the second quarter. And Ray Guevara with a hesitation move. Benson with a rebound. Talking text is on the move. Jason Castro fires a three. Yes, sir! Three. That's the run. All good teams, and actually most teams, and all teams in the PBA, they get into runs. Now, it's a matter of how long those runs are. This is a pretty big run on the part of uh, Talking Tech. Shot clock down to nine. Ross misses. And here's Ryan Reyes on the break. For Castro, who just made a three-pointer earlier. This is just a seven-point game. And Talking Tech's hoping to write the last sentence of the second chapter. Castro against Cardona. Castro says, give me room to operate. Castro finds Pop Boy. No. That ends the first half. And Naranto clings to a seven-point lead. 48-41. This was an 18-point lead for the Bolts. Talking Tech's made a run late in the second period. By and large, Naralco banking on that electric start, Jason. Good start. Imagine, 45.2% field goal para sa kanila. But what is, what's even better for them, it was also electric defense that they did because hindi na pinascore yung mga local ng kalaban. And uh, Naralco looked good in the beginning. And like you said, holding on for that 7-point lead. So at the half, the Bolts, surprising talking text, 48-41. And we'll be back with more. This is the PBA on Action. Magulat, but Miralco is on top of Talking Tex, 48-41. In fact, pas na hagulat, the Bolts led by as many as 18 points in the first half. They were really dominant. Uh, up until that late run by uh, Talking Tex, we welcome you back to our Sabado night's coverage. Miko Alili with Jason Webb. Uh, Jason, uh, what was the most impressive aspect of Miralco's first half? energy uh, and um, you know sometimes when you trade a franchise player there's sometimes the ng void yep. at nawawala yung gana ng ibang players but you can see right now with this team they came out on fire and uh, you know they're playing a champion team on the other end but they weren't faced and it, you know it, the, the entire team pati import pati import pati um, import si Eric Dawson was uh, well, quite the energy guy for Miralco in uh, the first two quarters Let's, we'll be checking the highlights from the first half and the, the strangest thing about that first quarter walang talking text local ang nakascore ng ni isang field goal in that entire first quarter so that meant that uh, ito si Benson was very impressive kasi <laughs> siya lang eh <laughs> siya lang pumuntos mula sa field but uh, you know, all in all you, you have one team that you can say isa lang pinanggalingan ng puntos on the other, hati hati, and basketball is a team game. It makes it much easier for the play for the team in white, which is Meralco, to get their points. And you know they got it from all over the place. Three point shots, Nigo and Jamie. But I mean layups actually for Meralco in that in that first uh, first quarter. Um, in that summary of that uh, first quarter, Benzo, 12 points, two blocks, na but, uh, but the rest of the the team only scored two points. Dawson. Very solid, 8 and 6. Here's your Sabinatin. Field goals of locals. 0 out of 14 para sa Token Tex. 8 out of 18 para sa Bolts. Out rebounded by the Bolts for Token Tex. And Token Tex also threw the ball away four times. Miralco, very good job. Just one turnover. 
Okay, uh, we're about to show you the highlights from the second uh, quarter. Yung, yung uh, two points from the locals in Pogentex, two free throws ni Jason Castro. Looking at the second quarter, uh, ito, pinalaki ng Meralgo yung uh, lamang nila up to, up, up to 18 points. And uh, when it went up to 18, eh, alarm bell just went off para dito sa Pogentex at nabuhayan sila. And, uh, you know, they, they just went on a massive run. Again, layup after layup after layup for the Bolts uh, allowed them to well, to uh, lead big. Here's uh, Ray Guevara driving, but yung Tokyo Techs naman had that late run. Yes, and that, that late run, at, at yung nagising talaga doon, masasabi natin, was Jason Castro. He hits this three. That's part of his, the 15 points that he scored in that quarter. Don't forget, Token takes 12 out of 12 from the free throw line. That's how important free throws are. And uh, turnover points, they got out and ran, and you saw one of those there. And rebounding, na bawi na nila yung deficiency nila no first quarter when they were able to out rebound the balls in that quarter. Jason Castro, 50 points in the second quarter. <laughs> So welcome to the second half, Meralco, Labat's uh, talking text. Meralco starts with Porporan, Eric Dawson, Cliff Hodge, Mac Cardona, and si Chris Ross. And they keep on giving itong si Benson or, or si uh, Dawson those, those lobs. And uh, he doesn't look like a major leaper. So you, you just give him the ball. You want to say more of that effective type of player. Let's go to Jessica. Uh, I think Coach Ryan Gregorio Miko, unpredictable is really what Meralco wanted to be this game and this conference. Uh, wala daw silang one dominant attacker and their problem lang was towards the end of the first half when they let up on defense and they know that they cannot do that with a team like Talk and Text. As for the Texters naman, they felt like they had too many turnovers in the first half. They were a little out of sync but more importantly, lalo na in the first quarter, they didn't play good defense and that was their main concern, guys. Talking text is not talking text if they're not playing good defense. Ronnie Dell misses the layup and Benson. <laughs> Remember, that's what uh, Coach Laura really wanted to instill more in this team. This is already has been already been a well oiled offensive machine. They really just a little bit tweak to defense and they're not going to be able to do it. That's not the first conference that they have. The Philippine Cup. Just a uh, five-point game. Dito sa mga unang bagi ng third quarter. The talking text, they have Alapag, Benson, Larry, Jared, and Ranidin. who's wide open in the corner. That's a steal by Dawson. Dawson to Cardona. Loose ball picked up by Ross. Ross to Borboran, and Borboran will take two. Good job, the part of both Chris Ross as well as uh, Eric Dawson getting into the passing lanes. Una he steals he goes on and the other one who saved him on a share. Chris Ross giving his team another possession because he just was able to out hustle Jimmy on the corner. Barbaran misses his first free throw. Second. So, so far, Meralco able to fend off Talking Text for the moment. But you can see that the, the, the composure and the confidence is coming back to Talking Text already. Just a four point game. This is once an 18 point lead. Para sa Bolt. Uh, uh, yung, yung 18 point lead man, that was when Meralco had 46 points on the board. Ross with nowhere to go. Shot clock down to 7. And Ross to Dawson. And the problem is when you have Chris Ross uh, on the floor uh, as well as Cliff Hodge, you're going to have to get some shooting from Eric Dawson. And it's just a two-point game. 20 points for Keith Benson. More importantly, dalawa na lang ang abante ng Meralco Bowls. Ula lam attack! Alas 20. Alas 20 mahigit na kasi. Umuulak na siya. Konting panulak na yan dyan. Hindi tumingin sa camera eh. Wala na eh. 
Hindi pa ka nagsisimula. Hindi pa ka. He's like the first ula alam guy who didn't even say hi <laughs> sa camera. <laughs> Guevara. Ross. What's alarming for Meralco? We're still in the early parts of the third quarter. Two and a half pa lang. Pang awala ka lang. Two minutes and a half pa na ka lang. And the score kanina was 46-28. And that is what? A 19-3 run? Run Jay. Outside Ross. Shot clock down to five. Trying to become a common theme. Shot clock winding down and turnovers. Para sa Meralco and just like that, tap na na tayo. Di ba kami mga bumabalik pa lang, kumain lang muna nung half time. <laughs> Pagbalik, it's already tied. Remember you when you were, when you said at the near the end of the second quarter, iti-tweet mo yung score, walang maniniwala. Kung tinweet mo nun, no, tapos i-tweet mo ngayon, eh lalo talaga hindi na wala na maniniwala sa'yo. <laughs> Then the basket was huge with the goal. Mula kay Vidal Cliff Hodge. Yeah, Cliff Hodge. Here's Ranidel. Pinigig in Jimmy. Shot clock down to seven. Jimmy makes his move. Blocked by Dawson. Got to get on transition if you're Miralco. We'll try to get some easy points. Ronjay for three. So still a two-point lead. Para sa points. And Jimmy will slow things down. Ranidel fires. In a quiet game, para kay Remedel de Ocampo. Uh, Jessica, what do you have for us? As you requested, Nico, uh, the reason that uh, Cliff Hodge <laughs> changed his number was because at the start of the conference, or uh, off-season, he thought that he was going to be playing the three spot. So he had his number changed to that of his idol, Carmelo Anthony. Tapos nangyari yung trade that hindi na siya three. Uh, but he decided to keep the number anyway, guys. Well, okay lang. Nagpa-power forward din naman si Carmelo for the Knicks. Eh. So, and, I, 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 and, and, and just the same way that I can see the similarity between Dawson and then <laughs> Durant. <laughs> and Durant. I see the similarity. Oh, okay. 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 Every vote counts. Here's Paboy. Paboy on the move. Paboy scores. What you don't want to give. Pocket text right right now. If you're Meralco, it's your unforced errors just like that. You give up that kind of unforced error, that leads to easy two points. It's awesome. Import against import. Help defense by Pambo and a block by Benson. And that's a loose ball. Good save. By, but it goes to the wrong man. And Foster, oh, missed the dunk. He missed the dunk. Ball is alive and Timberlake says, okay, guys. No need to rush. Let's organize. Timberlake. Dawson. Got it. That's, it. That's what he has to make. That it's become available to him. Lalo lalo na yung tira dun right there at the the free throw line. At the two point lead for the Bulls. Here's Bob Boy. As we near the halfway mark of the third quarter, Bob Boy. Pass out, steal, Rodgers all alone, Rodgers all the way. Just the same way, na tinatapo ng bola ng token text to lead to layup. Same thing happened para dito sa token text. Turnovers were a big problem for token text in the opening period. Another player, very quiet as well, Jared Dillinger. Ryan Reyes, open three. Yes, sir. Fairly quiet as well, not as quiet as earlier. And only his fifth point so far for Ryan Reyes.
nonetheless, that will frame Miracles' lead to one point, 55-54. Pascal Atimitayo, deep as the third quarter, and Dawson has the basketball. Dawson against Rani Del, Dawson fires. Ibarra, Fafa, Ray, Miss. Here's Jared. Heads it to Ryan Reyes, who hit a three-pointer earlier. He tries again. He's badly that time. Scoring definitely slowed down, it, 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 especially on the side of Meralco. And the quality of the shots in Abu Anila. And La Ayuda, this is a high-quality one right here. Oh, it this is, is it! it. Wide open layup para kay Jerry Billinger ni Mofsey. So lamang para ng Meralco, 55-54. Up and down we go here in the third quarter. Shot knocked down to seven. Dawson against Benson. Oh, Dawson scores! He's a really fancy player, eh? Si Dawson. Effective. But you can see that he's actually overextending himself to what his comfort zone is. This is a nice uh, screen roll because he made the shot earlier. Benson didn't expect to the shot on defense and he bent, so that's why he was able to beat him to the basket. But he's starting to become more ball dominant because wala siya makuha na opensa dun sa kanyang mga teammates so far but that's something that you want to get away from if you're Meralto because you'd like to see your team as a unit get points at, no, at the hindi ka masyadong sumasandal sa import mo Boston with 19 points for the Bolts Larry for 3 yes sir <laughs> oh it feels like they, they took a vacation for the first 20 minutes of this game tapos doon na buhayan na ito talk and text Paul Artad he's now part of the ball game for the balls and a nice sneaky move for Dawson see may kalaw talaga ano siya eh efficient well it doesn't need hand time kaya nga ito 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 Ryan Reyes pushed from behind by Rajay Buenefe but Dawson gives you so many other classes. for He looks winded though. And so Dawson sits down. J.R. Reyes will take his place. Si Pamboy will likewise sit down for talking thanks. Then Jason Castro will take his place. And immediately Jason Castro sends it to Larry and Larry will miss. Yeah, you know the advantage of being the Philippine Cup champions. Pag pinahinga nung kabila yung import nila, at kung ano, sige, papahinga ko rin yun sa akin. Eh kami champion ng Philippine Cup, so pakiramdam mo, yamado ka sa lineup. Right now, Miracles on top, 62-57, Ronje with 12 points. Paul Artadi, he just reads the defense very well, especially in back door. Back-to-back -back missed three-point shots for Ryan Reyes. Here's Artadi. He goes all the way. No go. And Ryan Reyes gets the basketball. Ryan Reyes is hammered. I mean, that's just the way Ryan plays. Ryan. You know, when you're going that fast, at itinulak ka patu sa direction na yun. And it doesn't take a, 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 no, a strong push. Itinulak lang. You see the concern right away para dito sa talking text drop on texters. So Ryan Reyes, he plays at that level na talagang 100%. But the problem is, he's a guy that pretty much gets injured at some point during the conference. And it's a, it's a consequence of how he plays. And you don't blame him for that because he's all out. He's all out all the time. And see Ryan, one of seven talking text players uh, selected by Chot Reyes for the uh, Gilas pool. Yeah, imagine if actually Jap it was it was still with the team. It would have been, <laughs> been eight. 
Speaking of Japan, a um, pretty decent start after all the drama. Pretty decent, decent start in his return to the PBA. And you don't have to be a Japan fan to be happy for him with how he performed last night. But those uniforms, very nice. <laughs> Okay naman so far, dahil uh, is a winner wherever he goes. He won a championship with the D-League. A champion din siya in uh, Japan and also won a championship in Korea. So that is one thing that we uh, really lack in championship experience and uh, winner's pedigree. At uh, hopefully, he can be able to transfer it to our players and give us a winning tradition. They're whipping out all these new shirts. They got that new shirt for practice. They got a new shirt right now for, for, for the coaching staff as well. 21 points, 10 rebounds, 4 shot blocks for Eric Dawson. By the way, I, I found out from my Twitter timeline, those uh, very swanky Naralco signature swanky. Yeah, shirts? Yes. Alam mo sino pumili niya? Galing Hong Kong pa at galing Hong Kong pa daw yan. Alam mo sino pumili? Sino? Coach Chantre. Kaya naman pala. Orange is the color of, of the season. Huh? Huh? Okay, okay. Huh? Oh. Private joke? Orange. Ah, private orange. joke. Pero yung mga taga Paranaque, hindi alam hindi nila, private alam nila, joke. Oh, alam nila kung ba't orange. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. So offensive foul on Rabah Luseni. Chair is getting it squarely on the face. Here's that turn. You get that help. Oh, Bam. oh, ow. Oh. Straight on the nostrils. Meantime, here's Manuel. Big Manuel releases. Straight into the hands of Ryan Reyes. Jimmy. Jimmy for three. Rebound, Manuel. That was the turnover. Ball in the Reyes. Shot clock reads 12. Ready to rush. Here's Artadi. And win. Goes right. Strong move. Kevin Torreno Hugnata. And so far, even though Sina said that it was a draw, so it's nothing bad. But they played all Filipino versus all Filipino. Maganda yung pinapakita ng Mirado. They've actually upped their lead every time uh, we've seen a situation like this. Actually, it's, it's interesting to uh, look at Reynel and Big Manuel and Jerry because they also, also gave up Kelly Napo. Very promising big man. And, 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 and a player that had, uh, as you see, that, that drive. And a player that must have been, you may may attitude na palabat si Kelly. <laughs> oh. Maraming talaga nilalabat niya. Okay pa lang. Oh. Kapa na. Two free throws for Larry Alexander for Nasher. Larry makes his first. Sol Mercado watching his old team. I wonder what he's thinking. I don't know, no, 18 points. No, we're just curious. Yeah, diba? yeah. yeah. Really? I mean, we're just curious. Uh, you used to be the leading scorer of this team, and you saw the murder, they were dominating back in the first half. Shot clock down to wait. Artadi. Turnover. Yes, I'm sorry. Not good enough a, a team here, and not a lot of teams can actually get away with just throwing away the basketball. But when when, when you're facing a team that let's face it, a, a, a tougher or a, a tougher uh, lineup, you don't want to give away those easy ones. One minute remaining in the third, and Paul Artadi loses it. Here's Dillinger to carry, and carry goes all the way for two. 
Only the first two points for Harvey Carey. Remember the first quarter, it's a turnover ng Meral, but since then, they brushed it up by 11 turnovers in the last two quarters, and we're not yet done. Dito sa quarter, ito, dahil yun na nga, natagdahan pa kasi nila na isa pa. Half a minute remaining in the third, and Ryan Reyes will miss. Long rebound picked up by Artadi. Ball will slow things down. We have uh, 22 seguntos remaining in the third. In Peralto, tienen 14 seguntos to work with. Artadi on the left side. Manuel. Big Manuel with a drive and the layup. Four points for Manuel. Five seconds to go. So now both teams are in the penalty. John Triols will enter the game for the first time. That is a talking text. Five seconds remaining. And talking text will be to write the last sentence of the third chapter. Larry, that looked good. Straight. Napalakas. Artadi from half court. We end the third quarter, Lamang. Ang Meralto Bowl, 68-62. Laban sa talk and text. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter. This is the PBA on Active. Into that lead after that 13-point uh, 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 lead in that quarter para sa Meralto. Pero hindi yung pin ng time yung lane ka, Lamang. But looks like there's something wrong with the six, seven, thirteen. No. <laughs> Please don't. Please do not ask me to copy that. <laughs> the minute I finished math 12, when I was in second year college. Did you say math 12? Like the 12th time you took math? No, that's the name of the ah, okay. class. <laughs> which happened to be, fortunately, my last math class ever. <laughs> so, so <laughs> party. I was the time I said goodbye to mathematics forever. <laughs> I'm a sportscaster. I'm not going to be able to get the big board. I'm not going to be able to Oh, Ron J. Buenafe connects with a three. We actually asked. Anong do you roll the Ron J. Buenafe? I'm drive and kick para sa kanya ni Sol. What he's able to do so far is actually run through screens and run through it very well. Jay Reyes blocks the shot of uh, John Triols. So Meralto opens the fourth quarter with Artadi, Jay Reyes, Buena Fe, Vic Manuel, and Reyna Lugnata. Both imports are on the bench. Manuel, no go. Ferriols with the rebound. Wow, long Whoa. three. I mean, that was really long. When he took that, you're just going. Tagal dito bago mapatari. Ayaw eh. Daniel against Ferriols. Ball will go to talk in text. Both imports getting you know it long rest right now. Probably they'll come in at about the nine eight minutes mark and tuloy tuloy na yan. But so far, you know, if you're Miraza, you're quite you're quite pleased. Na hindi hindi na tatapesa na malaki yung kalamangan mo yung tiyuti lam. Good block by uh, Jay Reyes. It's never easy to guard Rani Del sa poste with the footwork of Rani Del. Jay Reyes swats the uh, Rani Del shot away. Whoa! Miscue! And here's Rod J. Buenafe for an easy two. One thing that I noticed with, with, with talking text is yeah, maybe you can, you can you know, forgive them because you know, guys in the championship have not had a lot of time to repair. You know those mga bola na uh, long balls that they, you can sprint for? Um, they're not re we haven't seen a lot of those balls that they've, that they've chased. You see Karina, I, I saw a play Karina with Ryan Reyes. I also even saw Jason Katz who had a chance to turn around and sprint. Did not do it. So, but I'm decent, Rinya. You know, you have your first game, and you're still trying to get your bearings about you. Young uh, reflex, reflexes. Yes. And 
the sense of urgency. Opening game for both teams uh, dito sa Commissioner's Cup. And uh, both imports are back on the floor. That's Keith Benson scoring. Para sa Talking Dicks. Yung katapan niya sa Meralco, that's Eric Dawson. And Keith Benson now with 22 points. I wouldn't be surprised if yung pag tinaas yung kamay, baka mas mahaba pa ito si Benson kesa kay Sub Dogo. It's just awful. You may be right. AP. Sundov is what? 7-2? 7, two, seven, seven two? Yes. Now, that, that's a three-pointer. Uh, yung saktong sakto yung range for Jimmy Alapag. And Jimmy in double figures with 12 points. Still a five-point game para sa Meralco. 75-70. We are in the fourth and final quarter. Yes, it is the fourth and final quarter. And that's why, he, you know, Jimmy started to come alive as well. Nick Conwell, strong move. I like that. You know, you, as a rookie. Nakita ka. Uy, ang laki na bumabantay sa akin. But as long as you finish hard, you give yourself a chance. Well, Jared Dillinger testing the defense of Manuel and uh, made two free throws. See Jared, they push Palaki Manuel, his third person. Uh, he's going to continue to have problems, you know. When they play big like this, talking about the Morocco Bolt, and the other team has an athletic three on the other side, it'll be very hard for Vic Manuel. Nasabayan laterally yung binabantayan niya. Two for two, para kay Jared. Malco still ahead, 77-72. We're approaching the eight-minute mark of the fourth quarter, and Malco goes to Dawson. Eric Dawson. Sneaky moves here. Yes. <laughs> you know, he's not trying to... Uh, the highlight moves. You know, I, don't, I don't think he'll ever end up in our top top five place. You know, it wasn't sneaky. All those screens that they were giving Benson and Benson. Natulak sa ng bahagya ni Chris Ross. Pagkatapos nun, natulak rin siya ni Hugnatan. That gave enough space to the sneaky. <laughs> I know it's weird to call someone so tall sneaky. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, maybe it's just a more creative way of saying efficient. Yes, he is uh, very efficient. Sakto lang yung movements niya. Yeah. Here's Ranidel. No go. Ranidel, one more try. Still a six-point game for the Meralco Ball. They, and they've continued to, you know, even when they've had yung mga valleys in which they, they, they had that... Uh, uh, Problem scoring. They've got, kept the uh, talking text at bay. Perfect pass, Jimmy to Jared. And talking text once again is knocking on the door. Apatan lamang ng Meralco Bolts with under eight minutes to go in the fourth and final quarter. We're taking a good look at the huddle of uh, Ryan Gregorio. And let's take a good look at our Presto Cool Under Pressure Play brought to you by Presto Coolant. Prevents overheating, works better than water alone, now in a cool new packaging. Again, nililinaw ko lang, just to clarify. It was Eric Dawson who said, baka yung mga late na pumasok. Baka isipin tayo nagsabi. Hindi yung mga late na nag-tune sa atin. There was actually an interview. In interview si Eric Dawson, yung import ng Meralco, and Eric Dawson said that the people say nakamukha niya si Kevin Durant. Okay? Nililinaw ko lang. And I would think it would be safe to assume that it is his number. It was actually 35. And his shoes are Kevin Durant's shoes. Dahil. Maraming nagsasabi sa akin. <laughs> ang ano naman ito, ang, ang, ang naging resulta naman, ang dami naman nagsasabi sino talaga kamuka. Ang dami eh. Uh, Sino-sino mga... <laughs> Do you really want me to say? I, 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 ko na kasi, I, <laughs> I hesitate. <laughs> like I said, ayoko nga. Hunting pa ako ni Dosun. Uh, here's Jimmy for three. No go. Bullet dodge right there. That, that is in rhythm para kay Jimmy Alapag. And got enough space in that three-point area. Ross. Is Manuel strong move, Vic Manuel. Kung pahira pa siya dun sa kapila, because might not have the quickness. As, ooh, another missed layup. The thing with Vic Manuel, if he can take one dribble and then uh, and the power step ka agad, that's where he's gonna get his points. He's not even uh, dun sa kanto. Here's Cardona, teardrop. 
<laughs> Pinigla si Benson eh. Hindi pa nakakita si Benson ng ganun. <laughs> Welcome to Cartona's World. 16 points for Mac Mac. His first two points of the second half. Back in a moment. Mac Cartona. Check out this uh, teardrop. Well, Benson, <laughs> I'd like to introduce up. you to the teardrop. <laughs> he's backing up because he's thinking this guy's going to go for a layup. <laughs> the pace. And then, wala, stand up teardrop. Eh. Stand up teardrop. Parang mat, hat down, mat down lang. <laughs> 16 points for, for uh, Cardona. 7 of 11 team goals in this ball game. We're nearing the halfway mark of the fourth and final quarter. Ball by Ryan Reyes. Alley oop intended for Keith Benson. And uh, somebody got in the way. Foul up again, Ray Guevara. That's his third. That will be the fourth team foul up on Miralco Bolts. But I wasn't in the act of shooting. Jimmy, Ranidel, Ranidel fires a three. Yes, sir! It's just so difficult to defend. But lalo lalo na, when they run the pick and roll, na sila ang dalawa. Because hindi mo alam kung ano gagawin ni Ranidel. Babasa ng defensa si Ranidel. If you trap him, he's just going to stay there and hit that outside shot. If you switch it, alam mo na dadaling ka sa inalim eh. Nice pass, Dawson for loss. Uh, roll reversal, eh? big man uh, passing to the point guard for a layup. First two points para kay Chris Ross, and it's a seven point lead para sa Meralco. Uh, two points, yes, but seven rebounds, eight assists. Benson, no go, rebound, Ross. Here's Fafa Ray, and he was foiled on that play. Hillinger, Passa, Jimmy, Jimmy, to Ranidel, Ranidel, footwork special. He just has his own pace, and he doesn't get flustered. You know, he gets, he gathers himself to get the shot that he wants. Cardona against Reyes. That's a great matchup. Cardona gives the ball up. Dawson, shot clock down to four. Dawson makes his move and scores the layup. And it's huge that he got so much rest. Nung natapos yung third quarter at papasok yung fourth quarter because he looks like he has a better prep in his step here in the fourth. Unlike what we were we were seeing at the end of that. Bago siya palitan ng third quarter. 28 points for Eric Dawson. Shot clock down to seven for Talking Tex. Hustle play by Reyna Lugnatan. Here's Ross. He won the ball in Eric's hands and a quick move by Dawson. Tapos bibiglain ka ng mabilis na galaw kong kanina. Nagsaset up siya. Kinabagalan nila. Basa lang ng depensa. Remember what Coach Ryan said? Guy's a proven winner. And he's using that. You can see that pag kailangan yung puntos, Dun sa pumapasok. That's where, that's when he comes alive. By the way, Keith Benson now, the talk attendance input, five personal fouls as we go to Jessica. Nico Coach Ryan wants to uh, keep the continuity so offense in Amaralco, and that's why he gives them a lot of options in that respect in their last huddle. He also wants them to uh, keep pushing on defense, to stay composed, uh, para hindi nila mabitawan ang lamang ngayong uh, we're approaching the end game, guys. Continuity is very important uh, when uh, when you have uh, yeah, basically a new team here and you make it if you want to make the, the job of the defense easier. Even when bola sa isang tao, makikita nila But if the ball moves and the people move, it becomes harder because uh, nawawala sa forma in defense. Meantime, uh, Keith Benson with 24 points of his own. Problema for uh, Tuakit Dex. Meralco is still leading 89-83. Under four minutes remaining in the ball game. Dawson wants that ball. Here's Ross. Outside, Reynel. 
Here's Jimmy. Jimmy stepping on the gas. Bounce pass for Benson. Oh, almost. Good job by Benson yes. to actually retrieve that pass. Because it's a bit too high. And it's big. 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 I mean, we didn't really like, don't fully bend down for, uh, uh, for that uh, pass. Yeah, he makes his first free throw. Uh, actually, uh, the text already missed one free throw. One 22 out of 23. And still, you know, if not for that good free throw shooting. Excellent free throw shooting. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yes, excellent. This game could be a much bigger deficit that uh, they could be facing in this game. This is not that. Trying to locate Ronjay. Instead, they go to Manuel on the right side. Now, there's the matchup that may be there. That matchup of their import, Nabinabante and Iranidel. Here it is. Dawson drives. And oh, that, if that's on Benson, that will be a sixth. <laughs> it is on oh. Keith Benson. So Keith Benson fouls out after scoring 25 points. Not very happy with it. six fouls. Look, Benson, it's the same in the PBA. <laughs> six fouls. Here, guys. Pero pag nahi tama si Benson, talaga pati mo ka batang bata pa. Okay, what does this do now? For Miracle, you think? Oh, ito na. But just give the ball to Dawson. Give the ball to Dawson and then, then, then go and uh, take advantage of that matchup. But remember, yesterday, Nanalo, walang import. It's a global port. Global port. Yeah. San Mi Coffee made a game of it all game long. Walang, walang import. import. Let's see if Tokitex will do the same. Uh, this is a 30 second timeout. 3.08. Yan ang oras na natitira in the ball game. And it's 91.84 for the Meralco Bulls. Tokitex just lost their import. Keith Benson. Marcos Taubit uh, enjoying, uh, enjoying the ball game. They'll start uh, practice on uh, Monday. And he's going to be joined by Jason, Raya, Jimmy. Larry, Jared, Ranidel, and Kelly, the national textures. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you put Marcus with that team right now. <laughs> but don't forget, you know, so many other um, integral parts na idadag dag dyan. Gabe, Jeff, and Junmar. Junmar, I think, is going to be huge for this team as well. I haven't seen him play internationally, but... You know, uh, he might be that uh, first guy off the bench but the si, uh, Kus, Marcus. Here's Jimmy. Shot clock reads 10. Jimmy on the move. Ryan to Ranidel for three. No, in and out. Rebound, Reyna Lugnatan. Couldn't ask for a better shot if you're talking text. You ran that very well. Allowed the ball to find the open man, and the open man was running dead, but the ball just didn't want to go down. So as expected, that ball will go to Eric Dawson, and he shoots over Rabah Alusseni. 33 points for Dawson. But Miko Raba bigger, but maybe Ranidel a, a better uh, physical defender on him. Here's Ryan. Ryan Rez for three. In and out again. Here's Jimmy. Jimmy for three. And that stays in. Para kay Jimmy on the pad. Third three-pointer in this quarter. Para sa token text. This is a team. You can't give them that many opportunities for three-pointer. Too many good shooters. Yeah, three straight attempts. Six-point game for the Bolts. And again, Meralco will exclusively go to Dawson. And Dawson will score. <laughs> they made the switch. Putting Ranidel, a guy that is Rasanay na tumulak, na mga malalaking player. Tumopol pa sila. Ryan was able to dig down. 
But like I said, guy's a winner, found a way to score. I had a chance to, to talk to Coach Al uh, a few days ago as well. Both, both very excited about uh, what they should be. But anyway, Mamea, yeah, after this game, you'll catch uh, the uh, the late telecast of the Rain or Shine Alaska game that went absolutely down the wire. Maganda silipin yung mga import doon at saka mga player na naglarong parang import. Ama. Okay, here's Dawson. He's an import playing like an import, scoring like an import, dominating like an import. It no longer matters sino ang kamukha niya. Ang importante, he has 37 points. That, and that shot, that shot just basically opened the door for all the fans because everyone's <laughs> leaving after that shot right there. A lot of the fans feeling that's the dagger. It's the bonus free throw, but it's a 10-point game. Wait pa to Miguel, pagkatapos na natin sa yun. Tingnan mo na lang, makakashoot dito to. Aridel, Jimmy. Here's Larry. Larry, runner. No go, and Dawson with the rebound. And that should do it. Yung nakita natin dito, mula dun sa import. Nang meral ko. It, it getting points when it's necessary, you know, there, there, some players have a feel to it. Yeah, but, you know, kailangan magagawa dito ng important na play. And he was able to do that, at least in this game. But also, don't forget about the good game of the locals. Ross, uh, what is it, eight, eight rebounds and eight assists? And also, um, uh, Don J. Benefe had a solid game. Jimmy for three, and Jimmy yeah. connects. Seven point ball game. <laughs> Talking text, pretty upset that no fouls were called, but right now they'd be happy. That's <laughs> it. Turnover. Nag Turnover pa. 27 seconds to go. Hope I didn't speak too soon. Larry to Raba. And Raba makes the layup. Oh, yeah, that's that's five game. points right now. So free throw shooting time para sa Meralco. I wonder if those people that actually stepped out are still there. <laughs> <laughs> so two free throws para kay Ron J. Buenafe. Trying to put this away. Solid yung naruni Ron J. 18 points so far for him. And efficient as well. Only missed from three point range so far. Jason Castro again. Well, uh, and, and I actually saw a part. Remember when I said that you know, I, was, I, I had a question in which you mga, you mga players and talking decks are already in gear? There was one play that there was a fast break. He did not run down. And I, you know, it makes me wonder if, if, he, if uh, maybe he uh, felt something in his body. He's actually holding on to his side at the moment. And the Jason had 15 points in the second quarter alone. Oh. And 17 in the first half. He's actually there talking to the trainer on the side. Yeah, no, nakawag sa dun sa ano niya, parang grips. It's a, it's a side. It's a side. Okay, meantime, we're looking at uh, the uh, Meralco huddle and the. Uh, they're trying to hold on to the seven point lead with 20.9 seconds remaining. Only <laughs> medical and biblical proportions will help Talking Dex win this game. And but Eric Dawson, 37 points. It doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. Dahil pagatas 37 wow. points. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I want this guy in my fantasy team. 13 rebounds, <laughs> two assists, two steals, four blocks. That's a lot of stats. Sige na kawig mo ng si Ibra. Kahit na sa laro lang. Sige na sa laro. 10 seconds remaining, Ranidel for 3, no go, Meralgo will pull this off. We got daming, ano, daming 3 point shots that actually just slipped out uh, on the part of uh, Token Tex, in and out. Pretty happy.
happy bunch right there. And uh, so far, Migo, ito yung mga panalo natin, yung mga panalo natin dito sa konferensya to. Well, you might say most of the, all it's, of them surprises so it's, far. Uh, At, it's underdog week. Yes. It's underdog weekend uh, dito sa PBA. And again, the final score is 99-92. Meralco, they led by as many as 18 points. Umabol yung talking text, made it close. But in the second half, you know, Meralco got a monster game from Eric Dawson. And, and, and points when it mattered. They got uh, close, speaking of uh, Meralco. And talking text, you know, they looked like they were yeah, getting yeah. getting sharp. But then, yung nung kinailangan ng puntos ng Meralco, their import, you know, he was just there and he gave it to them. And you know, first half pala, I will give you credit for this, but you already sense that Eric Dawson was going to be a quality import. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see, you can see at the start of the game, you know, he already wanted to set the tone. Now, yeah. You yes, know, this is yes. what I'm going to do. You come in, I'm going to block your shot. I'm going to get rebounds. And then, he put it on neutral for a bit, and then again, when he needed the he came back in and, and did the job. We'll talk to Eric right now, our best player of the game, Meralco Import, Eric Dawson. Eric, a monster game for you. 37 points, 14 rebounds, 4 blocks, and many other stats. Uh, was, was this exactly the kind of production that people should expect from you every night? Uh, man, it's just coach preached every day at practice to just leave it on the court and go hard and you know, don't be scared to get tired and just leave it on the floor for my teammates. And, and Eric, uh, first impressions of, of, of the league, of, of uh, Talking Text as well, and, and obviously of your teammates. Uh, the league is good. You know, I expected this. It's real physical, which I like. And uh, my teammates, man, they, they're great. You know, they made me work hard today and uh, got me better, and I got them better at the same time. Okay, Eric, uh, we have to ask you this because you mentioned in an interview that a lot, a lot of people say that you look like Kevin Durant. Is that true? Oh, uh, man, I hear it every day. Uh, <laughs> actually, actually, he's my favorite player, so uh -huh. I guess it's a, it's a good comparison. Yeah, you're wearing his shoes, Yeah. and you're wearing his jersey number. Yeah, yeah. I look yeah. up to him. You and, know, and, he's a great player. And, and your numbers today actually are very Durant-like. Oh, man, I just got to do it every night. <laughs> <laughs> are we, are we going to see some three-pointers soon? Uh, I'm going to just take what the game gives me. I can't promise you that. <laughs> Eric, why don't you say, why don't you say hello to all the Miracle fans watching right now? Uh, I just want to say hello. Thank you guys for coming out, supporting, and uh, continue to uh, support us throughout the season. Okay, congratulations, uh, Eric. Eric Dawson, your best player of the game. All right, thank you. Red. Pero nakseli pero alun lang sa patos. Saka jersey number. Okay, the final score for the Big Dome: 99-92. Meralco winning. We'll be talking text. Stand by. Our delay telecast of the Alaska Rangers Shine game is coming up next. Exactly.